yeah, that is a huge paradigm, a major uh, shift in the trust in women's bodies and what they do naturally uh, into putting it into the care of an external solution and external management. And that's wild to me. Um, there's also a guy named uh, Dr. Joseph Dealey. Dealey. Uh, he was uh, an author of most of the, the major um, obstetric text that was used in uh, training obstetricians at the time. It was 1915. And he wrote specifically, I wrote it here, <laughs> I'm reading it. Uh, he described childbirth as a pathologic process that damages both mothers and babies often and much. He said that if birth were properly viewed as a destructive pathology rather than a normal function, the midwife would be impossible even of mention. These are his words. Yeah, so because of that perspective, we had that huge drop in midwifery from 1900s to, uh, by 1935, uh, excuse me, not 1913, 1935, 15% of births being attended at home by midwives. And, um, you know, some reports were saying in my research that, um, that maternal outcomes improved, uh, you know, because of that shift, at least briefly. Um, but then, you know, other things that I read said that actually more babies, more women suffered uh, as, a, as a, a result of men, um, excuse me, as a result of a male-dominated field taking over uh, a feminine function. And, uh, you know, when you think about uh, the fact that we went from birthing upright to laying on our back so that male physicians could see our perineum better than having, you know, midwives would patiently wait for gravity to drop the babies to them, men, or the, the patriarchal, creation of obstetrics had us lay on our backs against gravity um, and they used mechanical uh, means to extract babies uh, forceps deliveries were more common um, after the medicalization of birth which meant uh, long recovery times for women uh, episiotomy where you cut the perineum vertically or at an angle was more common, uh, which is extremely hard to heal from. And then, of course, uh, as we move to modern day, cesarean sections are um, sort of the, you know, the, the, the new manifestation of the management of a natural process that uh, many women can do naturally um, with gravity because we even have um, more access to health care, good nutrition than we ever did. Uh, in the past. Um, I thought it was interesting because, you know, in the ni 1960s, I was reading a, an article about um, an anesthesiologist who became, uh, who came into the field in the 1960s and how he, he wrote about how he was met with um, just a lot of like vitriol, like a lot of uh, anger from women because there was, you know, a general pushback against oppression at that time. Uh, and women were, um, reading things like uh, Spiritual Midwifery by Ina Mae Gaskin. Uh, she was the midwife that uh, sort of started a caravan um, riding across the country talking about um, resisting <laughs> various uh, ideologies. And the women of that caravan, they chose to birth naturally at home with each other and become midwives together. And uh, she's been teaching uh, through various books about that. Um, perspective uh, you know she's become a little controversial recently uh, some comments she made about about black folks I don't know I didn't follow, follow it closely but her work really benefited me as a birthing mom and as a learning doula um, and so I mentioned her here but yeah so this this anesthesiologist came into the field at that time where he really wasn't well liked. Um, there was Lamaze technique. Um, Fernand Lamaze came up with breathing techniques to help women birth. Oh, hello, son. Hello. <laughs> uh, uh, 
hello different lighting hmm. uh, help women birth uh, you know naturally uh, pain uh, to manage their pain naturally there was uh, Dick Grantley Dick Reed who wrote birth without fear uh, that was along the same lines of trusting the process um, for better outcomes and so that really brings us to today where we're sort of in this uh, limbo period of deciding the best way to birth our babies, uh, the healthiest way. Um, and um, it's up to us to really decide what we value. Uh, do we value connection to our bodies, to the process, uh, why we're having babies, um, and uh, what we hope to take away from the experience? Is it just a baby, or do we uh, hope to experience spiritual growth in addition to that? Uh, and so becoming more connected to the process of pregnancy, the process of um, birth. Uh, and of course, um, I say women, but I do mean birthing beings. I um, am not interested in um, restricting the thought around uh, really anything anymore. <laughs> I think uh, everything that's manifested in existence thus far, this is not an ad for Balaco, by the way. Just thirsty. Mm. But I think that anything that exists now is existing because we need it to. You know, there's a lot of, um, there's just a lot of, you know, thought about who should be having babies and uh, why and the process of it. And I think we should talk about it here. I definitely want to talk about it in, in upcoming videos. But I wanted to start with uh, the history of. Um, modern the modern birthing climate so that when we discuss what it's like to birth um, right now uh, when we discuss what you know you're looking for in your birthing experience you know different techniques and stuff like that that I've learned over the years I want you to have a backdrop of where uh, everything came from why we're um, talking about birth this way why people are birthing uh, either at the hospital or at home, naturally with an epidural, uh, just a little bit of a backdrop. Um, I think this was like 20 minutes, so I'll get off of here soon. But um, hope that was helpful. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm not going to go live now because I'm, you know, I just want you guys to know that that's what we'll be doing in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me know your thoughts on on where, you know the modern way of birthing came from you know I always thought it was um, sort of medicine encroaching on the rights of women <laughs> to be dramatic but it was actually women who advocated for uh, the medicalization of birth and uh, and for that mental change to, to attribute medicine with safety came from women uh, the women's movement and so as birthing beings moving forward you know we have to really uh, think hard about what we're advocating for, uh, for ourselves. Um, what we, you know, it's, it's, I, to me it's having seen, have, knowing what I know about the birth process and, and having seen some of uh, the more difficult experiences women can have in this modern birth uh, climate, um, it's, it's almost like a be careful what you wish for kind of uh, uh, realization for me um yeah so we should we just have a lot to talk about you know uh, so i want to bring to you here in future episodes um you know what uh, some of what i know about the, you know the mechanics of a successful birth but then also um i want to discuss with you where you would like to go you know uh some of you are giving birth now some of you will uh, in a few years, uh, if you make that decision. And so what kind of birth climate do you want to be in? Um, more medicalization uh, or uh, a return to nature? So uh, if you can, write below uh, what you think about it. Maybe even send me a video, post, you know, let's start a, a whole virtual dialogue around this. Um, and uh, I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thanks.